So thanks to two very useful rhymes, we know all of these notes. Today, let's learn four more. Middle C, D, G and A. The note below E here is called D. It's drawn under the first line in what's known as the first ledger space below the treble stave. Next note down is called middle C and it's drawn slightly away from the stave on the first ledger line. Same goes at the top end. The note above F is called G and it goes in the first ledger space above the treble stave. Next note up is A and it goes on the first ledger line above the treble stave. Ledger lines and ledger spaces are really just extensions of the stave. So try to visualize something like this when you're drawing ledger notes. Keep your ledger lines the same distance apart as the stave lines and everything will be nice and clear. This fella looks great, this one not so much. So there you have it. We now know C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G and A. Now the eagle-eyed among you might have spotted something really cool. Each pitch, except for B, appears twice here. CC, DD, EE, FF and so on. The cool thing is that there are exactly 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 notes between any two notes that share the same name. This distance, or in musical terms interval, is called an octave, 8 VE for short. So C to C is an octave, D to D is an octave, E to E is an octave, and so on. Got it? Cool. Music quiz! What's the name of this note? And does it have an octave companion? If so, where does that companion lie? Let me know in the comments below what you think. Happy music theorying everyone. We show pitch by using a stave, a group of five lines and four spaces. If a note is below the middle line, its stem will go up like this. Rule two. If a note is above the middle line, its stem will go down, like so.